Hello, this is Jared from LearnToDroid.com. In today's tutorial, we'll be using IBM's Watson text-to-speech service to create a realistic sounding voice when converting text to speech. I'll show you a quick demo of how I've implemented this in an Android app, and then we'll jump through the process of how we did that. Let's get started. Hello folks, this is a tutorial on text-to-speech. So next what we'll need to do is create an IBM Cloud account. So we'll need to go to cloud.ibm.com slash registration and we'll need to input some account information with an email address and password. We'll need to verify that email address with a code generated and sent to that email address. After that, we'll need to put in some personal information and you'll be in a position to create your account. Select the create account button and wait for the account to be created. You need to accept some terms and conditions. Then you'll be taken to the dashboard page. You can create a new resource by selecting the create resource button. We'll look under the services section and we'll type in IBM Watson text-to-speech to look for the text-to-speech item in the catalog. Then we'll select the text-to-speech option and we'll need to select a region. By default it's Dallas, we'll go with that one but you can see the other ones available. We'll be using a light plan, which gives us 10,000 characters per month for free. Then we'll select the create button. Now you can see some instructions on getting started with text to speech. You can have a look through that if you like. In addition, you can see some service credentials and you'll see a section called manage. If you go into manage, you'll be able to down download your API key which we'll be using in your Android project. So now we'll create a new Android project in Android Studio. So what we'll need to do first is we'll need to add some dependencies to use IBM Watson. We'll add the IBM Watson SDK into the dependency section of the app level build.gradle file. And we'll also enable multidex then we can sync the project in Gradle. Also in the manifest file, we'll need to add the internet permission. We'll jump over to the main activity file and we'll create two constants, one for the API key and another for the URL. That URL is related to the IBM service for Watson. We'll copy those over from the IBM Cloud page and we'll copy the URL as well. Next, we'll create a method called create sound file. In this method, we'll make a request to Watson text-to-speech using the IBM Watson SDK. We will pass some text and then we'll retrieve the sound file and the response. So we need to use an IBM, we'll need to use an IAM authenticator and pass the API key. We'll create a text-to-speech object and pass the authenticator in the parameter of the constructor. Then we'll need to set the service URL to the URL we've previously added. We'll fill out a section called Synthesize Options using the Synthesize Options Builder. We will pass the text that we want to convert. We want to accept the format of audio MP3 We'll provide the voice as a parameter and we'll select we'll and we'll call the build method. Then we'll create an input stream which will be obtained from the result. So we'll set up a file output stream so we can write the contents of the response to a file in internal storage. 
We'll create a file name based on a combination of the text that we've passed to the service and the voice that we've selected. We'll create a byte array to manage the saving of the file into eternal storage. Next we'll create a method for playing the sound file. We, and we'll include the file name as a parameter to that method. We'll locate that file in internal storage and we'll retrieve the URI for that file. We'll create a new media player which we'll use to play the sound file. We will need to set the media player to use uh, certain audio attributes so that we can play sound files. There's different options based on the SDK there, so have a look at the code and see which one you need to use. We'll need to set a data source to the file URI for the media player. Then we'll need to set an unprepared listener. And then finally we can call the prepare async method which will queue up the file to be played. Next, we'll add a local variable for the button, which we'll use for starting the text-to-speech conversion. We'll add that button to the main activity. We'll set up that button variable in the onCreate method in the main activity. Then we'll add an onClick listener to that button. In the onClick listener, we'll need to start a new thread using a thread constructor, passing the runnable as a parameter. In the run method, we will invoke the create the sound file and we'll evoke the play sound file, but we'll need to first provide some text to that. In addition, we'll also need to select a voice to use. So we'll call the create sound file method, passing the text and the voice. Then we'll call the play sound file method, passing the file name, which is a combination of the text and the voice strings. We'll make sure we handle the exceptions for both those methods. Then we need to call the thread start method. Now we'll test this out in the emulator. Hello world. Now we'll some, make some changes to this layout for the main activity. What we'll do is we'll add a new edit text. We'll use the edit text to provide text to the IBM Watson service. Next, we'll set up the variable for the edit text in the main activity class. In the onCreate method, we'll initialize that variable. Then in the onClick listener for the button, we will make some changes to use the text from the edit text rather than the string hello world. We'll only play the file if it's more than zero characters. So let's test this out in the emulator.
Hello folks, this is a tutorial on text-to-speech. Okay, and if you want to change the voice, uh, go into the Manage section and locate, the lists, and locate the list of voices in the documentation. And you can see a list of voices there, along with some samples against each of the items. So pick one that you think might be good. Going with a female voice. Text to speech. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, press like and subscribe.